You have yourself a bamboo printer with the quick swap interchangeable hot end, and you're trying to quick swap the interchangeable hot end, and you can't get the old one out to put the new one in. Normally the hot ends come right out, but sometimes it feels like they're like glued into place. Well, good news, it's not you. If you're having a problem getting the hot end out, this video will show you the very, very easy steps to remove it without using pliers or a screwdriver or a hammer. This video ran on my channel a couple years ago, and it was just about the A1 and the A1 Mini, but since then the P2 series and the H series have gotten this quick swap hot end as well. Quality is not so great on this video because it was one of my very first videos. The process to swap them is the same for all the printers, but it's easiest to show you on the A1 like I did in this video since you can see the print head really easily. All right, let's give this a try. The idea is you simply open up the print head, you unlock the nozzle, and you pull it out. The problem is that doesn't always work. Even if you follow the instructions that are printed on the A1 Mini or the A1, the nozzle will often not come out. The reason is pretty simple. There's often some filament sticking out of the nozzle that's still inside of the machine, which makes it really hard to get the nozzle out without hurting something. Before I get started, I do have to mention that these nozzles get incredibly hot. That 200 degrees or so that PLA is printed at is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. These things are really, really hot. What the instructions say to do is to press the lever to cut the filament. Then it says remove the black silicone shoe. Then it says pop open the springs. And then it says grab by the vents and pull it out. So we're going to give that a try and see what happens. Pop open these clips. And if you have any issue getting the clip open, just stick your fingernail under the bottom and flip it open. And now we're going to follow the instructions and we're going to pull this. As you can see, there's absolutely no way to do that. First thing I'm going to do is pick a filament to load. I'm going to click on one of the filaments on the AMS and I'm going to hit the load button. This will heat up the nozzle and it will be the first step that we need to get this working. When the nozzle is hot, it's going to start with the next step, which is to load filament from the AMS. We can see the spinning, which shows that the extruder is working. Now it's getting rid of the old filament that was in the print head. This old filament that was in the print head is what the problem is. There's a lot of filament coming out that's black, but I'm loading a green filament. Now it's got the green filament in there. It's purged the black. The previous filament that was blocking us from taking the nozzle off is gone. This is what we do next. Now I'm going to simply click the filament that I have loaded and I'm going to hit unload. Now it's purging the green filament we just put in there. It purges that filament. It's going to move the print head over to cut the filament. Now here's the trick. You're going to go back in the menu. You're going to hit control. It likes 250 degrees to purge the filament. So I'm going to switch to that. I'm going to hit nozzle and then increase this till I get to 250 degrees. And then I'm going to say, okay, we're back up at temperature now to 250 degrees. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that extra step, which is to tell it to extrude a little bit more filament. I hit the extrude button. We see that the extruder is moving. And then I'm going to hit the up on the extruder a couple of times. At this point, I'm going to cool down the nozzle. So I'm going to hit the temperature and I'm going to bring the temperature all the way back down and we'll wait for the nozzle to cool. This will take a while because it takes longer for the nozzle to cool than it does to heat up. Don't turn the machine off at this point because if you leave it on, you can take a look and see what the temperature is on the nozzle. If you have it off, you don't know if it's cool or not. The system is cooled down enough that I can go and take the nozzle out. Sometimes when you go to do this, it's really tightly in there and you won't be able to just pull it out with your finger. Let's go back to that screwdriver that I said not to use before. This is a case where we are going to use the screwdriver, but only gently and only if we can't get the nozzle out by itself. Very gently, there's a little space behind the nozzle that the screwdriver will go into and while you're pulling on the nozzle itself you can just give it a little nudge. That's it. That's the quick way to change your nozzle in the A1 and the A1 Mini. If you have any questions about the process leave those in the comments below. Your dog just called and he says that he misses you during the day and you should hit the like button to make him happy. For Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss. As always thanks so much for giving this a try.